So, what is happening, YouTube? Welcome back to... Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? You cannot get through the door? Too many fingers? You know what they say? There's only so many fingers that'll... Anyway. Anyway. I thought that would maybe pierce the, the, the push through the door, hit eye frames and stuff like that. I think this will. Oh, I gambled all my stamina on that hit. There we go. That'll do. Yeah. So I'm I'm fairly happy so far with my exploration of the Carrion Manor. It's it's been really really good so far, and we're just going to push through some more of it today. Um, so we we've done what I said I wanted to do. We've been out this direction, the Manor's lower level. I'm gonna press on. This way today is another doorway that we can venture into and see what we can see. Yeah, we're just, it's nice, nice chill exploration. The hands are a strong enemy, but not as, not as tough as I thought they would be. They're intimidating in their size and their movement. The smaller ones are very slow and methodical and the larger ones are very quick and agile and there's something in that juxtaposition of movement that's very very sort of scary itself I think because I expect the small ones to be scary and fast and the large ones to be very slow and ponderous and when you see that mixed up there's something jarring about it but it's it's don't get me wrong it's still very very good fun i think this has brought me full circle yeah it has but there was another pathway up here and this time i will touch the the grace and restore my restore my health so having the sword of night and flame in my possession, if I was a sorcerer, I'd be absolutely delighted with that. I'm not a sorcerer though. So, sadly, it's not going to do anything for me. Don't feel sorry for me though, I have a huge, huge sword that absolutely smashes people. And I'm happy with that. I think they're going to appear again. Yeah, they are. So one, two, three. That should only have been two, to be fair. I missed the first one. He got his shield up. We've got this guy here, who's very brave running at me. I've still got the critical heals on. I don't really need the critical heals to be fair. So we've got this guy here. Two hits and he's down. Rare Lucarian Greaves, that's quite cool. We, when we went this way the last time we dropped down onto the tower because I knew what it was in a way. How do we get over there? We have enough climbed up to there. There's an item over there. We'll investigate that later. So we've got a pathway here. That's where we went down to get the sword earlier. So it's possible that, I mean, you could speed to the sword because it's, to be honest, it's not that far away from the entrance. I literally came in the entrance Powered left under that arch, round here, in up the stairs, got that along this down here, and I got the sword. You know, it's it's not far away, so I'm not surprised people are 
are dashing to it early, particularly if you've started as a mage build, because that is going to completely change your play as a mage. We're not. Oh, hey! Kiddies. Oh! Yeah, he's not coming back from that, and I might not come back from that. I'm only kidding. Oh! I love that. Have a wee drink, keep the health topped up. Because you never know what's going to be around it. Okay. So these guys are appearing at different phases now. Oh, nice. Oh, I was hoping to get him before he got that spell off. To be fair, he didn't really get the spell off. The spell, if you notice, I never took damage. These guys just gonna keep appearing. I mean, that's fine. Mm, the right combination of guys is causing me problems. Oh, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Not a fan of that either. One of them got through. Oh, I'll do. Well, one of them dropped tonight. I'm going back for this. Is probably going to be the wrong move because more of them will appear. So watch out for that on your way back from getting that item. There seem to be more of them appear and attack me. Oh. Managed to poise through that. The sound effect that they make is a big clue as to when they're appearing. That will probably kill me, that will would have killed me. I need to roll, I need to stab, I need to trade, I need to drink. So that was a, oh, I was going to say that was a tough little section. Some tough cookies appearing. This is quite a combat heavy section. So be prepared, make sure you've rested at the site of grace back there, you've got all your flasks. Use the room on the bridge that you've got, move around. Don't be afraid to move away. Take a drink of the, the Crimson Tears and get yourself back in the fight. Depending on what kind of weapon you're using, those guys might be kind of tough. So don't be afraid to use weapon arts. I haven't used roar yet. <laughs> We've got another sight of grace here. <laughs> well done. So we're good. we are going to rest here, replenish our Crimson Tears. So far the exploration of the manor is going quite well. We're doing okay. That's a summoning pool. Oh, 
There's a tear under here, so I'm going to get that first. Uh, sorry, a golden seed. It seems like a fairly large dog. That's a big whoa. whoa. What's the first thing you learn when you play a Souls game? You don't ever fight at the edge of a cliff because it's so easy to go over the side. <laughs> so that was slightly frustrating. So round two, pick up my runes from the bottom of this. Then we'll If I can, I'm going to try and get as many of them off as possible. Can I use... There we go. And pull him off the cliff edge. There we go. So I do need to use Roar a lot more. Ah, I'm a port and I don't even know it. So you can come down off these stairs here. So the first thing that's going to draw your eye when you come out of that section there is you're going to have the gold tea, the gold tree with the golden seed underneath it. And you're going to want to make a beeline for that. But you could get caught in a trap. The other guy didn't seem to trigger, which is fine. But you've got the the first one wandering around here so what I would do perhaps next time is come down here and take on the other one then go over and fight the pick up the seed and fight the guy draw him off what I meant to do there and didn't do was fire off a, a, a magic dart one of my crystal darts that I've got and I didn't do that which is daft Strong forehead. Alright, okay. Left. Oh, I see what it means. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a ladder up to the left here. Really helpful uh, message. This is the one that said left, wasn't... No, was this? Well, anyway. We'll rate the message, because it did tell me something useful. So you're going to have to jump across there, and then we can climb the ladder. Now we're up on the roof. We've got a weak air enemy there. We'll deal with him in a minute. Magic Grease, so that's, if you haven't figured it out by now, the Greases are the uh, resins and things from Dark Souls. They will allow you to wipe, so wipe in Magic Grease on your sword will imbue it with magic damage temporarily. Wipe in the Dragon Wound Grease will allow you to inflict, I think it's arcane damage. There's the big guy there. There's a sorcerer there. You don't really want to fight the two of them at once. I think you can get around behind them from here. Now, as long as the big guy hasn't come to life here, we'll let him. Okay, 
It's not bad. Ah, uh, these enemies are up here in the backside. Ah, oh, no. Drink. to poise through that, that wasn't fun at all. That's cost mo m mucho flasks that I didn't really want to use. Where's the other one going? Oh, there he is. Perfumer's bolts. Rained crystal bud. When you make it to the top there's no grace as a reward. It is a stake of Marika though. And that you pass the big guy. I have a feeling this is a boss area. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know what boss this is. This is Loretta of the Great Bow Fame. I remember, again, in the same video where they were talking about getting the Sword of Night and Flame. In fact, I think it might have been something that Erin was watching about overpowering your mage early. I'm sure they came in and fought Loretta because Loretta's spe uh, Great Bow spell is one of the yeah Royal Knight Loretta. There we go. So I'll bring in. Roll. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to hurt a lot. So, one skeletal militia man's back up. There's the second one back up. He drew some of the spell. This is why I like them, because their, their ability to get back up allows me so much time to reset. I'm not even... <laughs> You know what? I need to roll away from all of this crap. Drink this. Drink this. Roll through that. I need to... I might be one skeletal militia man down now. Haha. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, if I had bothered my backside to light my blade on fire, I could have beat her. But you can see how useful the skeletal guys are. And we've got plenty of time in this episode to beat Loretta, so so not too tough a boss. I would like to be able to summon my horse for this and do Well unfortunately I'm not allowed, that's fine. So again Now we want her to come to me. Freezer moves. Missed the hitbox on that one and that one. Drink. They all came for me, despite the fact that they were facing away from me. These guys don't do a lot of damage, but they do draw her ire. I think she's just killed that one because she got lucky, she was aiming for me. Gonna take a drink. 
let her fire off her starlight. There's our glint blade phalanx. Oh, the hitbox on her staff is obnoxious. You can roll through the initial. You can roll through the initial slash, which is fine. But once you've come out of the slash and you're ready to attack, she still has a hitbox on the staff as it comes out the as it sort of finishes its arc. Um, I think that's a bit disgusting, but yeah, it's what it is. Uh, what I'll quickly do here is buff the sword and then we shall summon my skeletal friends now and that way I'm ready for the fight they are all going to come for me and she missed they are all going to come for me again oh no they're not I think I've lost a skeleton yeah I have there we go. Oh! Take a drink. Oh! Ho ho ho! I'm glad I did take that drink now, even although I got hit. I got punished for taking that drink. There's a glint blade phalanx. Rolled away from it, she's just killed my other skeleton. Obnoxious really. I think I did catch her at the end there. Clint Blade Phalanx come in. It does give me extra damage. Nice. Oh! Okay, down to half health. There's the Great Bow. So that's the spell that every sort of mage player wants. Because it is the ultimate ranged attack for a mage. I've made a mistake there. The mistake was the extra attack. It should have been in, one, out, in, one, out. And that's, that's the way that that fight goes. I think I can beat her on my own because I'm the only one that's doing damage to her so I'm not going to bother with the skeletons for this one. I'm just going to buff up the sword. That might be disgusting what I've just done but it, hey, it's whatever it takes to survive. Take a drink, roll, stab, roll, roll, stab, roll, roll, we'll stay out this time, take a drink, Glint Blade Phalanx comes in, we roll away from it. Link Blade Phalanx, roll. Roll, roll. Link Blade Phalanx, roll.
That was not an opening for an attack, that one. Neither's this. Flint Blade Phalanx is coming, so we roll. Roll past that, roll past that. Stab the horse in the butt. Flint Blade. That was an opening for an attack, that's why I went for it. Missed. Oh! She never missed with that one though. I need to dodge these glint blades. I need to dodge them. Drink. Ah! I'm never comfortable in this fight. That attack's sick. I hate that. Now we're gonna get her great bow attack. There's also two waves of flint blades. Here it is. Oh! This is the last flask, so... I've made a few mistakes in this fight then, if that's the last flask. Damn. That has obnoxious tracking. Yeah, there was no point, that was just... Just disgusting. Made too many mistakes with my... Too many mistakes early on. Went away from her when I probably should have stayed in and done damage, but I'm not blocking a lot of her damage. A lot of her damage is magic damage, which goes right through physical defense armor. did the wrong one first, I should have done the roar first. So I think if I do the roar now it's going to take the... Oh, I was... Too busy trying to change my flask because I was still on the flask of wondrous visit. So don't make the mistake that I just made before I came into this fight. I should have checked to make sure that the flasks I was on was my healing flasks because I didn't have enough room to back up from her and check there and I did and I died. So what you want to do here is roar, buff, in. And I'll be doing more damage to her now. She got a hit there because she fired off some of her oh, I needed to move I was desperately tapping roll there It's such a tough fight to do in terms of deciding when it's important to heal and when it's not. Might be worth summoning the skeletons after all. Because I think I was closer to killing her. Now our focus has been drawn by them, so I'm going to drink. She's killed a skeletal militia man. I think she got lucky there. I think she was looking for something else. So 
So we'll let the skeleton take the eye off while we drink. And we'll go back in. Roll out the way of all this rubbish. Okay. Let the skeleton draw the eye off. Now we need to roll, 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 roll. And she's ready for her great bow attacks now. And she's getting extra glint blade phalanxes off. So what I want to do is drink this. Again with the skeleton drawing the ire. He took that great blow to the face. And that's how you do it. So what was that? Four attempts? Five attempts? got the Ash of War, Loretta Slash, we've got the Loretta's Great Bow. Thank you, Skeletal Buddy. And we've beaten a big boss. Lost Grace discovered, so we'll rest again. Might have enough golden seeds now to increase our flask charges. Yeah, there we go. Any, have we got enough to level up? No, doesn't matter. Ashes of War. So the Great Sword can't have Loretta Slash. It must be for a, a halberd type weapon, to be fair, is it? Yeah, because Glintblade Phalanx is for that. If I find the. Where is it? There's the Short Spear. Yeah, it can get Loretta's Slash. Sure, I've got a sword spear at some point as well. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm imagining things. But anyway, that's that's us come up to this section of the mansion. So there's still this area in the back here to explore. The sight of Grace is telling me that there's something in this direction now. I'm going to quickly check up here and see if there's anything up here. What are these guys saying it? Ah, uh, turn back. I did it. Did what? Liar ahead, okay. There was a message just in front of me there, <laughs> and it's disappeared, okay. I don't think there's anything up there after all. Let's check and see what's at the back of the castle over here. Door to Three Sisters. Ah, there's a dragon in the background there. Possibly two dragons in the background there. Can I summon? Yeah, I can. Is this outside the manor now? Yeah, I am. I had a funny feeling. So a mage's tower. Again, no instructions on how to get in. Usually you get there's a little book outside that gives you the rules for getting into the tower. Like what you have to do or what you have to have. This one doesn't seem to have that. What it does have, though, is a rock outside it that goes up to here. I suppose if you really wanted to, you probably could make it from here. 
I don't think so, that doesn't look close enough. Yeah, sometimes a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. But anyway, there's there's the tower door, Renner's Rise there. And we've got a dragon doing the rounds down here in these ruins. So, I mean... Time are we at? 36 minutes. It's only 10,000 runes. I'm not really that bothered about 10,000 runes. And if you're wondering why I'm not bothered about 10,000 runes, it takes 40,000 to do a level for me now, so there's just not really much point. I mean, if this had an underground bit. That would be cool. The underground bit might be up here where the dragon can see you though. No? Okay. Let's have a go at the dragon. I think he's going to be up off the magic dragon. He might be kind of tough to to beat. He's the glintstone dragon, Adula. Whoa! Oh, I forgot about that. Got lucky there, he hit the building first. I find it easier to fight these without lock on. Oh, got me. Have I staggered a dragon? Yeah, I have. I don't think he'll stay down long enough for me to do it. Nah, no, I didn't. I wasn't in position to follow up that attack. There's his glintstone breath. Oh, see, this happened to me before with Agil. Because Adula flew out of his bounds, Now he's going to swoop down. Is it breath that's coming or a stomp? A stomp. That was a quick move. Oh. There's another quick move. Oh, his breath, his breath, his breath, his breath. Yeah, Adula's beatable. Adula's beatable. Very beatable. That was my own fault for not getting in about him quick enough there. I can't summon the horse yet. I can only summon him once I get out this door. So, let's go. Might as well use the flames. It's a dragon attack. It's arcane as well, it's not magic, so I don't know if he'll have as much resistance to it. Where did I die? Does it matter? No. Well that got the horse. Didn't actually get me. Ah, there's the runes, might as well. Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that. Oh! That was a homing breath attack. No! Ah! Yeah. I had to use one of my flasks to resummon Torrent there.
I don't think I'll have them staggered this time. No. I'm doing really bad. Normally, dragon ant fights go much better for me. Fire breath. No. He's reappeared over here, I think. Is he? Where is he? Has he just disappeared? <laughs> what? Right, that's massively unfair. I had him this time. Well... Some drinks. So this is Rani's Rise, and if I remember rightly, Rani was the name of the witch from the beginning of the game that gave me the bell to summon Torrent. There's Grace here. I'm really upset that that dragon disappeared though because I had him every which way. It's really annoying. I'm not happy. Up we go, up we go, and here she is. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in intriguing. Hmm, wilt thou enter in? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and searched now that I might one day upend the whole of it. Well, okay. I see. Thou art a rare sword. But I require as much of those I anticipate. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I know him. Have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the th thou needs not. It hath been a passing long time. Right. That's fine. So. I had that dragon. That is so annoying. I was looking forward to getting another dragon heart and another dragon ability. So there's the giant <laughs> just sitting there. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, 
the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Mokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Okay. Let us give all together. So, I see G. Now we need Blythe. Here it is. Hey. Mm. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? No. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if okay. I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Okay. I'm going below to see if I can't get me waiting. I know where he's going. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Celibus, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. Two gold drones. We have the misfortune of serving the same lady. I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside. Come and pay me up. Should you wish. If it were up to me, I. But who am I to. Oh. Celibus, you're. There's actually a barrier up now. Look! Do I have to teleport out of here now? I can't. Okay, this is... Strange... Do I need Rani's blessing to leave? I've spoken to Celibus. I reside. Come and pay me of it, should you. Right. What have I missed? I seem to be trapped in here now. I can't teleport out. I can't move south. I need to talk to her again? Look, I still can't teleport anywhere. Still can't teleport anywhere. Ah, uh, I shall soon end and it will be some time. This doll's body is still. I look forward to the... That was it. So that wasn't all of our dialogue exhausted. Now our dialogue is exhausted. 
and I should be able to get out of here now. So once you've talked to our three counsellors, you need to go all the way back up to talk to her one more time to get that message. I think. I'll know just now when I get down here. Yeah, all the red lines have disappeared from the, the Gracies. And none of the counsellors are here anymore, I'm assuming. Because EG isn't there. Blythe isn't there. And the sorcerer isn't there. Okie doke. So now, now I can explore. Fantastic. So Selavis said he lived close by. Trust him. Memory stone, extra spell, that'll do. Is the dragon back yet? No. Is that a scripted event? If somebody knows, feel free to share in the comments, but that's, to me, that's a little bit insulting and frustrating. I had him, he was beat. And I would have had another dragon heart and potentially a new ability, but he has. Oh, 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Ash of War Chilling Mist, ooh, That might be quite good. Still no dragon. He was up here, I think. We pushed the battle up the cliff and nothing. He just vanished. How very frustrating. But at least you know you have a better idea of what is waiting for you. Rani's rise is there. Eh, sorry, Rena's rise is there. That's Rani's rise. So Rena's rise is something slightly different. The Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. Ooh. I think the thing to do. is to go find Blythe who is all the way over here in the Mistwood underground now I don't know if he's you know what I'd rather do this the logical way <laughs> 